So there is a point in time where everyone has to consider how much am I paying in total debts and what do I need to do to pay these off as fast as possible because the interest you're paying is really costing you money. So what I want to take a look at is an example here about how debt hinders your forward progress on saving money and keeping more of what you earn. So in this example on the board, we're going to assume that we had to make a $4,000 emergency purpose and if you're in Arizona in the summertime, it's pretty likely if you own a home, your air conditioner is going to go out, you're going to have to pay for it one way or the other. So let's assume in this example, you buy a new air conditioner for $4,000 with an 18% interest rate attached, and you're only paying the minimum of $160 a month to pay off that bill. It may fit within your monthly budget, but over time, it'll take you 10 and a half years just to pay off that debt. And that actually is 50% more than what you originally intended to pay for the air conditioning unit. Now think about what that $2,200 of interest could have done differently for you if you had the money or the funds to pay off your debts. Another point I want to make here, and this isn't really present on the board, but if you consider how high interest rates are on credit cards and you're making a monthly payment of the minimum amount every month, and you were to look back one year from today on how far your credit card debt moved, well, it barely was scratched the surface. So you paid, let's say, $160 a month times 12 months, we'll call it $2,000 for the year, but the loan balance you had is still the same. It's very frustrating, it can be very difficult, but recognizing where you are today in regards to all of your debts can really put you in a better place to bite the bullet, pay it off as fast as possible, and that may mean making sacrifices along the way. So what do you want to do? Know your loans. We talked about in step one, gathering all of your financial records. So you want to gather all of your statements to see exactly what you owe and come to terms with whatever that number is. Write out the amount of interest you're paying on every loan, what your minimum balances are. And here you can start putting together a plan of how you're going to pay off those debts as fast as possible. Okay? You can use a debt payoff calculator online to give you a good gauge about what it would look like and how fast you could pay those off over a reasonable amount of time as well. And if it's not working out for you, always consult your creditors to talk with them of seeing how they can work with you in regards to hopefully lowering interest rates, consolidating bills, whatever have you, so that way you can get yourself out of debt as reasonably fast as possible. So again, what do you wanna do? Take a look at all your debts. Ask yourself, what is your debt costing you in terms of money today and future profitability for you and your family, and then also put a plan in place to pay that off in a reasonable amount of time. So again, this is Alex Corey with Values Quest, bringing you the next step in the process of financial planning, debt analysis, and consolidation. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you very much.